You know, we've always strived to improve the quality of care, but without recognition, either in terms of, you know, better access to patient pool or better improvement, uh, the effort to improve the quality of care comes at some frontline investment. And when we looked into our transition to OCM, we had to invest close to $700,000 in a good faith, expecting that somewhere we'll see the written on investment down the road. So in the second year, what we started seeing was that our hospital expenses started when going down and, and it did improve our cost curve. So clearly aligning incentive uh, to uh, get physicians buy-in or be making them stakeholder in improving quality of care, reducing cost of care does help and I would say that almost uh, more than half of my colleagues by now have seen some sort of savings that came out of buckets uh, uh, as far as you know what they chose to do. Another example was biosimilars. You look into, you know, in 2020, we have uh, virtually uh, five big biosimilar companies coming out in the mainstream oncology space. And it's my hope that we could even address the drug budget by switching all to biosimilars.